uh, this is what we've been waiting for. And so I'm kind of jumping in with both feet. That's how much I believe in it. And uh, it doesn't work on this only, it can work on concrete, it can work on coping. So guys, welcome to another uh, exciting episode of Ask the Masters. And when I say excited, I am excited. Um, you guys have seen Alan Smith uh, for years in the industry. Uh, he's been on our podcast multiple times. But what you, you didn't know is uh, Alan and I both uh, have known about a product for a long, long time. And Alan, is, you've now become directly involved. Uh, you you did all of the videos for MPC on nodule formations. I, I think it's now been spot viewed, etching, spot etching over 20,000 views. And um, I know you've spent your life and career wanting to make sure that swimming pool plaster uh, is preserved and, and lasts as long as it can for, for the client and what they what they, they paid for. So this product that we're working um, on, I, I, I only can just a little bit explain it. Um, it it's a topical uh, colloidal, colloidal silica. Is that right? That's correct. And and so, it, well, first off, tell us the problem with the pool behind. This is a pool you plastered some years ago. Yeah, this pool is a, a job we did 14 years ago. It was a, a standard plaster and we put a pozzolan in it uh, back when the pozzolans were positive uh, coming out in the industry. And um, the original owner sold the house oh, ten, uh, four years ago. It's a 14 year old plaster job. And the new owner started using a, a floating chlorinator with trichlor uh, before it was on liquid and uh, cyanuric acids got away from him. He didn't quite understand that, he's taking care of himself, and so it got into very negative indices on the saturation index. So he called us, oh gosh, about a month ago, and uh, wanted to know uh, what's going on because it had grown thousands of nodules, calcium nodules throughout, just recently. Uh, we test the water, we saw what happened. And uh, typically there is really no fix to that. He had sanded them off several times, and within a week or two or three, they just grew right back. And so um, what our new product is, this is the perfect application for it. And you guys on Ask the Masters are a little more sophisticated, so you know a lot about colloidal silicate, and we've talked about applying that to pool shells and the advantage. So now, now what you're doing is you're taking this technology, you've got a, a secret twist on it, yes, um, which actually makes the molecule into a nano, just incredibly small nanoparticles. So it's able to penetrate the surface of this plaster go down into what is the cavity part of that nodule and lock up the calcium hydroxide so it doesn't come back. Right, I'd like to explain that. You know, when we did our studies at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo years ago, you know, we did almost 10 straight years of protocols on uh, trying to find out what we can do with a swimming pool plaster finish inside of the body of water, which has a lot of chemicals and a kind of a nasty environment at time for it to make it uh, last longer, preserve it, what can we do from the material standpoint, uh, application standpoint, water chemistry standpoint to make these things last longer. Well, we knew it was a combination of a lot of things. It was number one, you had to do a really good job of the installation, best you could, use the top quality materials, uh, use uh, quartzes, pebbles, pozzolan modifiers to help make the cement, uh, fill the voids and capillaries with the pozzolan. Uh, and things like that. And then the startup, we all know how important the startup is. It started with a good balanced calcium level, uh, on and on and on. So it was a kind of a three-headed monster. It was good installation, good materials, good water chemistry. Getting all three of those to be perfect all the time is impossible. It's just the reality of the world. Now, I remember when we were doing all this uh, at Cal Poly, the principal investigator, Damian Kaslikov said, uh, because of all the variables, it's gonna be very difficult to preserve any type of a pool finish with the sanitizers we have on the market today. What you really need to do is a way to convert the calcium hydroxide, which is the most soluble compound in hydration. Some call it paste. the cancer of concrete. Well, it's it's in there and it's 24 to 26 percent of the of the hydration components is this product and it's very soluble. And um, it finds all the capillaries, the void structures around the grains of sand, wherever cement comes up to tile, plastic wherever, that's where this stuff lives. And so until you can find a way to deal with that or change that product, you're always gonna have issues. I always remember that. That's why I'm excited about this product. And you're right, what we have really here is a, is a sodium silicate really that's been altered into a nanotechnology for penetration. We have a couple different products we use, one for concrete, we can actually get eight to 10 inches inside of concrete. Penetration. Of penetration and surround structural steel, 
uh, we can actually take uh, um, regress PSIs that get down to 2,000, bring them back up to 3,000, 3,500, 4,000 PSI. We have all the documentation for over 20 years with this. And uh, we do our uh, ASTM testing and all that. pH uh, brought back up, um, stop the passivization of the steel in place. That works great for concrete, but swimming pool industry, how does that work? Well, this particular pool had nodules, 14 years old. We um, obviously, we acid washed and power sanded these nodules off, cleaned the surface off. You can't have any scale on it. You want raw cement for this product. And these guys are spraying it on. It's basically just a little backpack sprayer. So what our product does on the pool finish uh, side, and this could be done like this is on a 14-year-old uh, job. This will actually penetrate it and bring it to as hard as when we originally put it in, if not harder. So it's great for uh, pool service guys that are acid washing pools, whether it's pebble, quartz, plaster, or anything. Um, take all your stain off, put this on, and uh, it'll re-solidify it. Now, you can't do it to a pool that's spalling and blown up and completely shot. But for most applications, it'll work to bring it back. And that's a great um, product for a value add for anybody. As far as a new finish, new plaster, quartz, pebble, right when the plaster job's being done and the guys are finished and they're walking out, right before you would normally fill it, you can go around and spray this on. We'd recommend two coats or three if it's thirsty and it brings it in. We call it to the point of refusal. You can see it's just put on with a backpack sprayer. Uh, very easy, we back roll it to make sure there's no runs, drips, anything like that. And then once this is dry, we come back around and put another coat on. And it's basically, it's not a, I don't call it a sealer, I call it a penetrating hardener, where it's actually soaking down inside into the capillaries and void structures and replacing the calcium hydroxide with a, with a sodium silicate. Silicates are like glass. So arguably, this is almost like an internal ceramic um, finish on there. And uh, we have jobs, we've been doing these for years now that are all successful. Uh, we have a job as about six months ago, we did a, a pool very similar. This had thousands of nodules on it. And uh, six months later, maybe one or two little tiny ones. So it basically took care of that problem, just like this pool. And we well. identified today that these nodules weren't related to delamination. We, you know, the nodules themselves were just, they were just growing out of the wall, no hollows or, or anything. Right. Like that. I think in the whole pool, we found one little hamburger size area that was hollow. I don't know if that was the substrate or between the scratch. But um, you're right, most all of these were just water pulling uh, calcium out of uh, the void structure throughout the pool. So do you see a day when, uh, I mean, all of the masters and ask the masters are used to colloidal silicate, been using it for years, and they're applying it to their pool shells. Do you see a day where after you plaster a swimming pool or you put the finish on, you're going to be able to put this product on and it's going to increase the, the, um, the structural strength of the surface? So. Well, I don't say there's really any structural strength to the surface. It'll be more the chemical resistance okay. is the way I would put it. Uh, if you did put it on raw gunite or shotcrete, that would make it harder and penetrate, mm -hmm. uh, which would be good. And that could add to the structure because the gunite is and the shotcrete is part of the structure. But this basically gives it a chemical resistance and a hardening factor to make the surface practically non-soluble. And that's what Damien Kashlikev said, unless you can get rid of that soluble compound of the calcium hydroxide or modify it somehow so it's non-soluble, uh, that would be the thing. And we tried everything, sealers, all kinds of different products, sure. and they all had their drawbacks. I think we finally found the product to work. And uh, we're putting this on our commercial spot, everything right now. And uh, you can see they just did uh, one coat on there. It took them maybe 20 minutes. It's yeah. going to dry and they'll put their second coat on and uh, maybe two guys an hour uh, to do it. Um, the cost of the product's very inexpensive and uh, it's gonna be, I think, uh, someday every pool will have this. And uh, not only on the new construction, but obviously on the uh, maintenance cycles too. And it's a one and done. You don't have to put it over, over and over again because it penetrates, it stays inside. Wow. It doesn't leave. The only way to get rid of it is to wear the surface down. Like with concrete, if you put it on the concrete, you would actually have to wear through the concrete six to eight inches if it's, that's the penetration level to get it out of there because it stays inside of the matrix and it just fills the void structures with the silicate. Wow. And there's a very interesting technology on the deep penetration side 
that's a little different than this. We don't need b deep penetration on a half inch of plaster. Sure. We just need to get maybe the top quarter inch and you're done. Uh, where concrete, we have structural issues, it's a little bit different. Uh, but this is called Microglass. It's a fantastic product. Um, it's uh, a game changer for everybody. And also it really helps lock the color in too because uh, pigments are very small particles. And when any type of cement is attacked with water, aggressive water, especially it starts bringing the calcium hydroxide out, it pulls the pigment molecule with it. Right. That's why the um, uh, organic uh, pigment molecules are so small, they leave easier than inorganic, which are much larger and chunkier and hard to, to pull out. So um, it's not the perfect everything. I mean, there are limitations to this. I mean, if you still have extremely aggressive water, I mean, eventually nothing's impenetrable completely. Also, uh, this works really good for check cracking and micro cracking. Uh, I have examples of uh, pools. Uh, Bobby Altamirano just did a job and uh, where he had 60 mile an hour winds came up when they're almost done with a quartz job and they came back to acid wash it, craze cracking everywhere. It was severe. And um, the pool builder's going, are you gonna have to do this one over? They put this product on, it filled the craze crack structure with a silicate it, you can't even see them anywhere. Nobody wow. sees one crack in the pool. Uh, it filled them all in. Now, if you were to put this eye on a colored plaster job right now and then fill it, and it took a day or two to fill, and it started check cracking on the upper side, the sunny wall perhaps or something like that, and the product wasn't put on after the crack, that crack would be filled with calcium hydroxide, and that will show. Wow. It would have to be done after the cracking event. Mm -hmm. So you still have your timing issues and all that. So, uh, but uh, if it's done in the right sequence and you get all that, this is this product is gonna be unbelievable. And it'll stop these nodules from reoccurring. You might get a couple, mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, uh, where we've never had the ability to stop this before, we have a proven track record of probably 95% success rate on nodule reduction. Yeah, and we had a, a, over a thousand nodules that I saw when I got here and inspected yeah. it today. Very typical. Yeah. And if you look really close, you saw each nodule coming out of a little intersection yep. of craze cracking, which is transition. very, very minute. And that's a, a highway for the water to get into the calcium hydroxide within the matrix itself and start pulling it out in mass. Wow. You have to stop that freeway, that avenue and this product goes over that, slows it down, or plugs it up, or converts it to a non-soluble uh, silicate. Well, the pool looks great now. Look at this: a 14-year-old white plastered pool, and and it, it truly is flawless. And this uh, had a pozzle in it, so it was fortified a little bit more than standard plaster. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the original owner took really good care of it. He was basically on liquid chlorine, liquid acid, really watched it, balanced it. And the new guy kind of came in and just did the standard uh, issue, what he was told by the local pool supply to use his flowing chlorinator and one and done and, mm -hmm. and uh, never really checked his cyanarates. And of course, that's what got him in the soup with the nodules. And uh, yep, and here we are about ready to go the second coat. Well, Alan, thanks for coming to Ask the Masters yeah. and telling us about this new theory. I think we've been watching or I've been watching it for you know a couple of years now and it's been kind of top secret and uh, it's about to come out and uh, right. looking forward to you. Well so. I'm so excited about this I've actually become involved with the company. Uh, this is what we've been waiting for and so I'm kind of jumping in with both feet. That's how much I believe in it and uh, it doesn't work on this only. It can work on concrete. It can work on coping, interlocking pavers. You won't see it. It penetrates and it makes it so hard that your exposed water chemistry even on stone. Wow. Uh, I mean, we can't turn sandstone into something that's quartz-like, but it'll certainly help it substantially without leaving any uh, residue. Um, you just gotta make sure it doesn't puddle up, you wipe off any excess, things like that. But mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome. I'm excited, it's gonna be a game changer. So there you have it, Ask the Masters here, another breaking story. Glad you were here today. Yeah, Thank you. me too. All right. Thanks. Thanks.